Okay, uh, we've been practicing some more uh, taking inverse Laplace transforms. In the last video, we made it through the first three problems. The remaining three are a little bit more involved. And we're going to start off by looking at this one here. We have 7s squared plus 27 divided by s cubed plus 9s. And our first inclination might be to try to split this up into two parts like we did with this one. And if we do, what we end up with is this. We have 7s squared divided by s cubed plus 9s plus 27 divided by s cubed plus 9s. And here we could divide through by s so that we would have 7s divided by s squared plus 9. Take that away and that would be the cosine of 3x. And then we have this that we have to deal with. So what we ended up doing was not splitting it apart, keeping it like that. Well, we split it apart all right. We use partial fractions. And this was the setup. We have this. 7s squared plus 27 divided by s times s squared plus 9. So we have taken the denominator and we've simplified it like this. That's a prerequisite before you use the technique of partial fractions. And now, you see that will equal a divided by s plus this is a quadratic expression, so this is going to be b times s plus c divided by s squared plus 9. Now we multiply across, and we're going to end up with 7s squared plus 27 equals a times s squared plus 9 plus b times s plus c times s. So here then if we collect like terms we have a plus b times s squared and then we have plus c times s and plus 9a and that has to equal 7s squared plus 27. Now notice that here using the technique of partial fractions this is the correct way to set it up. Here's a linear factor there's a quadratic factor, but that means now we have three unknowns we have to solve for. A, B, e, and C. And here, on this side of the equation, we have A plus B times S squared. Over here we have 7 times S squared. So we know A plus B has to equal 7. There is no S term. That tells us that C is 0. And here there's a constant, 27. Here there's a constant, 9 times a. So we know right away, a equals 3. And we know a plus b has to be 7. So a equals 3. b equals 4. c equals 0. So, that means now then that f of s that is equal to a is 3 
that's 3 divided by s, and c is 0, so then we have plus 4 times s divided by s squared plus 9. And we can take the 4 to the outside. So now this, 3 divided by s, that's just 3. And we take the inverse of the Laplace transform. Let's specify that. We'll equal 3. And here we have plus 4 times the cosine of 3 times x. Remember, in a cosine of kx, the Laplace transform is s over s squared plus k squared. And there's s over s squared plus 9, and so the square root of 9 is the k here, so we're going to have the cosine of the square root of that. Here's k squared, what, what you multiply the variable by is the square root of that, so what, what we multiply x by is the square root of this, so this right here then comes out to be our inverse the boss transform. So from this here, once you break it up with partial fractions, then as soon as that's done, we could almost immediately then break down this inverse the boss transform. Um, okay, that takes care of it for that problem. Now we have this one, which is a little bit even more complicated, and this one. So we'll probably, let's do this in the next video. We'll take care of this one. And then see how much time we have left over to solve that one. So come back to us for the next video, and we'll start to work on that problem. And also, um, just as a reminder now, if you go to digitaluniversity.org, um, there are, right now they are preparing literally uh, hundreds and hundreds of different videos on a whole variety of topics. And there's also free reports being featured there that you might find useful to you. And as always, maybe we don't say it often enough, but your comments and responses are very important to us. Um, okay, anyway, that's it for this video. Come back, join us for the next video, and let's see if we can take care of this problem.